السلام عليكم ورحمة الله المحاضرة اليوم نكمل عليها نكمل في chapter present word we are going to continue with present word analysis previously we discussed the present word value or present word criterion and the future word criterion now we continue in this chapter for capitalized equivalent method راح نحكي فيها عن capitalized equivalent method الآن uh, sometimes أحيانا the project life may be infinite years or it will it will last for very very long time بعض الاحيان تكون عند المشاريع practically عمليا عمرها لا نهائي او ممكن تضل الى فترات طويله جدا uh, examples of such projects are like uh, infrastructure projects like roads bridges uh, dams uh, hospitals schools uh, sewer systems Practically, their life is infinite. Now, how to calculate its present worth? عمرها لا نهائي. الآن كيف بدنا نحسب ال present worth أو القيمة الحالية لها? This what we call it a capitalized equivalent method. We use it to evaluate the present worth of projects with perpetual life, or infinite life, or extremely long life. Uh, how to calculate the present equivalent for a project that has infinite life and a uniform cash flow we just take the limit of the factor PAIN as n goes to infinity so the limit as n, is n goes to infinity 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 divided by i to 1 plus i to the power n is 1 over i so the present value for this is going to be a multiplied by the factor which is a over i this is the capitalized equivalent this is the present worth for a project that either has a very long time or service life or perpetual service life example engineering school wants to create scholarship to attract high quality students كلية هندسة بدهم يعملوا برنامج منح دراسية لحتى إيش يستقطبوا طلاب المميزين. And they are going to distribute five million dollars every year as scholarships. وبدهم يوزعوا خمس ملايين دولار بالسنة as scholarship. Okay. Now how they are going to secure this amount of money, الخمس ملايين? They are going to open a a fund, a trust fund account that will give them a four percent annual interest. And from the interest generated by this account, they will pay the five million dollars every year. راح يعملوا جم يجمع تبرعات تبرعات اللي راح يجمعوها راح يحطوها في البنك. البنك راح يعطيهم عليه interest أربعة بالمية. Then the question is, how much should they raise now? Okay, so that they will be able to pay five million dollars. Okay, in scholarships for practically infinite life or infinite time. يعني هاي المنحات راح يظلهم يعطوها إيش بشكل مستمر إلى أجل غير مسمى. So just to sketch the cash flow diagram, so they have to deposit a certain amount of money in the bank, so they will be able to draw five million dollars for practically infinite life. So what's going to be B? Applying the capitalized equivalent equation, A over I, 5 million divided by 0.04, they should raise or should deposit 125 million dollars. لازم إيش يجمع 125 مليون دولار. Another example, Mr. Gaynor Broswell, he works in real estate. بيشتغل في العقارات. And he developed, uh, in, and he raised uh, a small fortune, eight hundred thousand dollars, during his thirty years work in real estate. Now, what Mr. Broswell is planning to do is that he wants to build a hydroelectric plant, محطة توليد كهربائي تعمل بالطاقة المائية, okay, and he will call it High Shoals Hydro. He will design and supervise the construction of this hydroelectric plant using his experience as civil engineer in the army. هو راح يشرف على 
هو راح يصمم ويصف على التنفيذ المحطة باستخدام خبرته كمهندس مدني اللي اكتسبها خلال شغله في الجيش. Uh, the build of the plant will take him 10 years. Okay. And by the law of Georgia State in 1978 federal law that any uh, electricity generated from a renewable resource okay the Georgia Power Company is required to purchase any electricity generated so he will sell the electricity to Georgia Power Company okay and they will give and he's expected to generate 6 million kilowatts hours per year and his annual income will be $120,000 per year this is his net income and it's expected that the plant will stay for at least 50 years with a proper maintenance okay does this 800,000 was a good investment or not a different and we will consider this case at different interest rates 8% and 12% interest rates by computing the present value and we are going to compute the present value okay for 50 years Okay, for 50 years and we are going to calculate it using the capitalized equivalent assuming the project life is practically infinite 50 years is too long okay this summarizes the net cash flow for the investment this is as you can see all the investments made in building the plant and this is the income from the hydroelectric power plant as you can see this is a uniform this part is a uniform cash flow and n is 50 years this is a regular cash flow for 10 years and we want to calculate their present value at n equals zero their, va their equivalent values at n equals zero so what we are going to do we are going to calculate the equivalent value of this cash flow prior to n equals zero and it's going to be v1 and calculate the present value for this cash flow the uniform cash flow and it's going to be at n equals zero and it's going to be v2 so the total present value of the both cash flows is summation of v1 and v2 so at interest rate eight percent okay v1 is minus 50 calculate if b a if calculate F given B at 8% 9 and as you can see all of them in negative because they are cash out of flows another 50,000 uh, compounded for 8 years 60,000 combined for 7 years and so on until we get the final answer which is 1 million dollars in negative sign there is a negative sign And there is also uh, okay this is good good there's another negative sign here and I think the next slide we need to put some a negative sign here another one here okay and it's going to be negative We go back and v2 which is annual uh, uniform cash flow calculate b given a at eight percent and 50 years 120 multiplied by this factor is going to be one million four hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars so the present value of this investment is three hundred sixty seven thousand dollars this value is calculated this is the present worth okay Now, if we are going to use the capitalized equivalent method, CE at 8%, so V1 will basically remain the same. And we will apply the formula for the $120,000. So minus 101, minus 1,101,000 $1, plus 120,000 by 0.08, the, the answer is $399,000. First of all, this is the capitalized equivalent. This is CE. 
assuming that the project life is practically infinite. First thing that we see that the project is profitable at interest rate of 8%. So it's profitable because the present value is positive. The second thing we note that there is no much difference between calculating the exact present value ما في فرق عندي لما اجينا حسبنا ال present value and the capitalized equivalent the difference is very very small it's like 20, uh, 22,000 dollars and remember that we are using the present worth as a criteria to see if the project is accepted or not or profitable or not if it's profitable it will go to a deeper analysis احنا بنستخدم ال present worth criterion لحتى ايش نشوف المشروع مربح ولا لا بحيث اذا كان مربح الان ننتقل ايش الى مرحلة اعمق من ال feasibility study so we are not interested in exactly how much it is profitable we are just looking if it's profitable or not now at interest rate 12%, we will repeat the same, same calculations. V1 is going to be $1,299,000. V2 is going to be $997,000. So the present value is the summation of minus $1,299,000 and $997,000. The answer is minus $308,000. This is, this is the present worth or present value. The, uh, using the capitalized equivalent method, the answer is minus $299,000. So at 12, the first thing that we know is that at interest rate 12%, the project is not profitable. At interest rate 12%, the project is not profitable. Second thing that there is no much difference between the present worth and the capitalized equivalent. تقريبا الفرق حوالي 3000 دولار which is not that much now we come to mutually exclusive alternatives what we mean by mutually exclusive alternatives mutually exclusive alternatives means that if I choose one alternative if I choose one option this implies excluding the other options إذا أنا بختار استثمار معين هذا إيش معناته إني استثنيت أو أهملت إيش الخيارات الأخرى الآن for example I'm going to buy an equipment for my plant بدي أشتري معدل المصنع تبعي and I have one من Chinese one is manufactured in Germany one is manufactured in Italy عندي ثلاث خيارات equipment صناعة صينية صناعة ألمانية صناعة إيطالية if I choose the Chinese one I'm excluding the other two options if I'm choosing the Italian one I'm إيش excluding the other ones. إذا اخترت الصينية معناته إيش أنا استثنيت الخيارين الآخرين المعدة الألمانية والإيطالية. إذا اخترت مثلاً الإيطالية أنا استثنيت إيش الخيارين الآخرين. This leads us to another concept. The do nothing is also إيش an option. I'm considering three equipment. Also I have the option of not buying any one of them. عندي كمان خيار إني ما أشتريش ولا واحدة فيهم. So do nothing is ish also is also a decision. It's also an option. If I choose not to do anything or to buy equipment, this means that I'm excluding the other three options. But do nothing option is not always available. يعني إن ما عملش إشي مش دائما هذا الخيار متاح إلي. مثلا, if the equipment with like a simple maintenance, I can extend its life for another two years, then do nothing is an option. But if the equipment cannot be repaired, I cannot do maintenance. The, the equipment is, is completely broken. المعدل الموجود عندي في أرض المصنع خلاص. حتى لو عملت لها maintenance وعملت لها شو maintenance خلاص ما ضلش فيها حياة. Then at this case, do nothing is ish is not an option. I have to buy a replacement. Okay. Now before we continue, we will see some definitions. We have what we call them service projects and we have what we call revenue projects. Service projects, my revenue doesn't depend on the alternative. If I chose A, B or C, my income will not change. Okay, will be the same. Or sometimes there is, there is going to be no income. ما راح يكون عندي income نهائيا. This is what we call them service projects. Examples for service projects, 
مثلا مشاريع البنية التحتية الطرق الجسور الصرف الصحي هاي كلها تسيرفس بروجكتس if i'm choosing a certain contractor to build a road okay their the revenue will be the same if i choose contractor a b or c اذا انا اخترت مقاول معين لح... مقاول حتى يخت... يعمل لي الطريق اخترت المقاول الف ولا المقاول باء ولا المقاول جيم ما راح يزيد عندي الانكم لانه اصلا ما في انكم تمام there's a cost or cash out flow there's a cost contractor a will cost أو option A أو contractor A I will have to pay him a certain cost contractor B he has his own cost contractor C has a different cost so those are called service projects another example for service projects اللي هو power plants محطات توليد الطاقة الكهربائية although there is a revenue في عندي أنا revenue but the revenue is the same كيف يعني the same احنا سعر كيلو وط الكهرباء ثابت The price of kilowatt of electricity is constant, 0.18 Saudi rials per kilowatt hour. Okay. So if I buy the most sophisticated power plant, إذا أنا اشتريت أحسن واحد في العالم اللي في كلياته computer control system, and it will cost me let's say one million dollars. And its capacity, خلينا نحكي القدرة تو six megawatt. قدرة six megawatt بالسنة, for example. And if I buy a cheap one that will cost me one hundred thousand dollars, and it has the same capacity six million watt of electricity per year, okay, my revenue will be the same, because. العائد تبعي راح يظل زي ما هو انا راح اخذ 18 هلاله على كل كيلو على كل وط انا او على كل كيلو وط اوكي اون ذا اذر هاند ريفينيو بروجكتس ذا ريفينيو ديبندز اون ذا الترناتيف اوكي العائد تبعي او الانكم تبعي يختلف باختلاف البروجكت اللي انا راح اختاره او باختلاف الانفستمنت اللي انا راح اعمله فور اكزامبل ام جوينج تو هاف A restaurant. بدي أبني مصنع. بدي أبني مطعم. بدي أفتح مطعم. If I choose a certain type of restaurants, it will generate different revenue from other types. أنا بدي أختار مطعم وجبات سريعة مش زي مثلاً مطعم وجبات إيطالية. مش مش زي مطعم ااا بيتزا ريستورانت. Okay. The other two definitions is the analysis period and service period. Analysis period is the project life or the time span over which economic effects of an investment will be evaluated. الفترة الزمنية اللي أنا بدي أعمل عليها الدراسة تبعتي. Okay. Service period is the time span over which a service or investment will be needed. أنا راح أشتري a certain equipment for my plant. My plant will last, for example, twenty years. But there is a certain type of equipment. في عندي معدة معينة داخل هالمصنع عمرها خمس سنين. So I'm going. My analysis period is the twenty years. Okay. أنا بدي أقيم مربحية المصنع تبعي على العشرين سنة. I'm going to study the profitability of my invest of my plant for twenty years. But this equipment will serve us for five years. So I. This is the service period. The five years. So I have to find a way, تمام, so that I can cover all the analysis period. لازم أنا المعدة هاي راح تخدم عندي خمس سنين. لازم ألاقي طريقة الآن لحتى إيش المعدة هاي أشوف طريقة معينة لحتى أغطي إيش كل هالعشرين سنة. For example, I can keep buying the same equipment, okay, for five years. So I will have four circles, or I can lease. ممكن أستأجر equipment. بنفس المواصفات or I can buy for example more expensive equipment but it will serve for a, long, a longer period of time so how to evaluate mutually exclusive alternatives now the, the question is which investment is the most profitable investment أي مشروع عندي اللي هو المربح الأكثر من الخيارات اللي عندي A, B or C so how to decide In this chapter, we will follow what we call the total investment approach. 
the incremental investment approach we will study this later in chapter 7 when we talk about uh, later in this course of course uh, chapter 7 rate of return is also related to incremental investment approach okay so we need to evaluate the present worth future worth or the annual equivalent we will see in chapter 6 okay if I have a service project then the best project which have the lowest cost or smallest cost if it is a revenue project then the best project or investment is the one that has a the largest net present worth إذا أنا كان عندي cost project أفضل مشروع اللي إيش اللي حيعطيني smallest cost إذا كان عندي revenue project المشروع اللي أنا بختاره اللي حيعطيني إيش أكبر present worth So compared to mutual exclusive alternatives now depending on the analysis period and the service period I have four cases uh, five cases four plus one. First, if I have finite life or finite analysis period I have those four cases if I have infinite life I have I would say it's actually one case okay so the first case is when analysis period equals to project life إذا كان عندي أنا analysis period الفترة اللي بدي أدرس عليها مربحية المشروع تبعتي أو مربحية الانفستمنت أو اللي بدي أدرس عليه التأثير الاقتصادي is equal to the project life أو service period في هاي الحالة what to do is that I can calculate the present worth for all of the alternatives and based on the present worth I decide which project is the most profitable one example Bollard Company BC is considering expanding its range of industrial machinery product. شركة اسمها Bollard بحاولوا إنهم إيش يوسعوا الإنتاج تبعهم بإنهم الآن بد بدهم يشتروا new equipment لحتى إيش يوسعوا range their range of products. Method one, they will purchase a new machine machining center with three operators. حيشتروا خلينا نحكي مسمي إحنا machining center. And it will require three operators. The other option is a machining center with automatic pallet changer. لحتى يغير الطبليات اللي بحطوا عليها the final product with three operators. The third option is a new machining center with automatic pallet changer, but with two operators that are sharing tasks. بتشارك في المهام. Okay. Which of these arrangements will give will be more profitable? Okay. At interest rate of 12% and this table summarizes as the cost and revenue for the three options for the first option the machining center will cost or the machining center will cost $121,000 for the three options automatic pallet changer I don't have it in the first option but I have it in the other two options so this is the cost or the price of the pallet changer, automatic pallet changer system. Now the installation cost, تكلفة التركيب المعدات هاي, thirteen thousand thirty thousand for the first pro, for the first option, and forty two thousand for the other two options. Uh, tooling expenses, fifty eight thousand sixty five thousand thousand for the second and third options, and this is the total investment for the three projects. Now the revenue in the first year is going to be $55,000, dollars Okay. This is from revenue. And from savings in labor, labor savings, I have 17300 for the third option because the first and second options will use three operators. But in the third option, they will use two operators so that they are saving the salary of one operator في الخيار الأول والثاني بستخدموا three operators ثلاث مشغلين لكن في الخيار الثالث بستخدموا 
مشغلين اثنين فبالتالي هم قاعدين بيوفروا راتب ايش مشغل واحد بالسنه اوكي and there is set up savings of 4700 for the second and third options now the net cash flow uh, for the revenue for the first project the revenue will be the same for the remaining years okay and also for the second option but for the third option as they are using two operators that they are sharing tasks their output or their efficiency will be low at the beginning okay but their efficiency will improve by 13 percent every year starting from from the second year كفائتهم راح تتحسن مع الزمن 13% يعني انتاجيتهم راح تزيد 13% ابتداء من السنه الثانيه لانه قاعدين بيكتسبوا خبره they are gaining experience at the beginning they are not experienced in sharing tasks ما عندهم خبره كيف وزعوا المهام بينهم but with time their they will gain more experience مع الزمن راح ايش يكتسبوا خبره اكثر وبالتالي انتاجيتهم راح تزيد ايش 13% كل سنه تمام so there will be a geometric gradient for the third option and this is the salvage value for the three options now we need to calculate the present value for each option the present value for the first option I have the investment minus two oh nine thousand dollars okay and I have a uniform cash flow 55,000 calculate B given a 12 percent and five years and I have the salvage value, the $80,000. Calculate B given F. Okay, so the present value for this investment is $34,000. The second option, I have minus $294,600. Okay, this is the investment. I have annual cash flow, a uniform cash flow, which is Seventy-four thousand dollars. Calculate B given A, twelve percent, and five years, and I have the salvage value, one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Calculate B given F, twelve percent, and five years. So the answer is forty thousand two hundred and forty-five dollars. Now for the third option, I have a geometric gradient. The investment is minus two hundred ninety-four thousand and six hundred dollars and I have a geometric gradient G equals 13 percent and I equals 12 percent so G doesn't equal I I I use the the equation the long equation okay which is a1 multiplied by the equation so this is a1 fifty eight thousand dollars Okay, calculate B given A1, 13%, 12%, 5 years, and also I have the salvage value, calculate B given F, 12%, and 5 years, the answer is $37,000. So from comparing the present values of present worth, the second option or the second method is the most profitable one. It has the highest present worth. This is a revenue project. For revenue projects, we choose the alternative or the option with the highest present worth. Now, uh, the next case is that the analysis period is shorter than the project life. Analysis period is shorter. For example, the analysis period is two years, but the project life is for example, or the service life of the equipment is five years. So what to do in this case? I need to determine the salvage value of the machine or the equipment at the end of age of the service period. I then calculate the present worth and choose the project with the highest present worth. Okay, example 510. We have a company called Waste Management Company, okay? Hey, Sherke has won a contract to removing radioactive material from government-owned property and transport it to a designated dumping site. Hey, Sherke, فازت بعطاء من الحكومة لحتى يشيلوا radioactive material من أرض تملكها الحكومة وراح يودوها ل 
مكان مخصص للتخلص من النفايات النووية okay? This requires a specially made river bulldozer to dig and load the material into a transportation vehicle هذا الكلام بحاجة إيش؟ لما عدة متخصصة تمام؟ لحتى يحفروا ويشيلوا الراديو اكتف ماتيريال وحطوها على الترانسبورتيشن فيهكل على وسيلة النقل تمام؟ الآن هذا المشروع يتضمن إزالة 400,000 tons of waste to remove 400,000 tons of waste in two years العطاء مدته سنتين بدهم يشيلوا 400,000 طن خلال سنتين Now the options that they have they have model A machine okay it will cost them $150,000 راح تكلفهم $150,000 and it has a life of 6,000 hours and it can work for 6,000 hours they need two units of model A بحاجة ايش الى uh, two machines من model A تمام to be able to remove the 400,000 tons in two years okay so the operating cost for each unit is 40,000 dollars per year تكلفة تشغيلية لكل واحدة فيهم 40,000 دولار بالسنة and they are going to operate at 2,000 hours per year رح يشغلوها ايش 2,000 ساعة عمل بالسنة remember that the machine has a useful life of 6,000 hours, operating hours. At this operational rate, the model would be operable for three years, at the end of which time it is estimated salvage value will be $25,000. بنهاية هاي الفترة راح تكون salvage value إلها 25,000. If they operate it for 2,000 hours per year, this means that they are going to operate it for three years. إذا بدهم يشغلوها 2,000 ساعة بالسنة, معناته هاي المشين راح تخدم عندهم ثلاث سنوات. But remember the contract is for two years. The, so the analysis period is two years, and the service period for project A or model A is three years. This is the service life. Now model B is more expensive. Model B costs two hundred and forty thousand dollars. بكلف ميتين وأربعين ألف دولار. And it has a longer life, 12,000 hours. It can operate for 12,000 hours without, خلينا نحكي major or significant maintenance. And costs, and its maintenance operating cost is 22,500 dollars. والتكلفة التشغيلية 22,500 دولار. If it is operated for 2,000 hours per year. So, it's Life is expected to be six years. Twelve thousand hours operating hours divided by two thousand hours per year. So the service life of Model B is expected to be six years, which is at the end of the six years will have a salvage value of thirty thousand dollars. And of course, we need two units of Model B to be able to remove the material in two years. Now, as you can see that. The service life is two years. Service life, but no, it's the actually the analysis period. Analysis period is. And the service period for model A is three years, and for model B is six years. Okay. Now, what to do in this case is that I need to find the salvage value of model A at n equal to or after two years, and I need the salvage value of model B after two years. What's given the question is the salvage value at the end of the six years. So the salvage value thirty thousand is at the end of six years, and the salvage value of twenty five thousand is at the end of the service period of three years for model A. But I need the salvage value now after two years. 
So, since the lifetime of either model exceeds the required service period of two years, the engineers at WMC estimated that after two years, model A could be sold for $45,000 and model B could be sold for $125,000. If the minimum attractive rate of return is 15%, is this investment, uh, which investment is acceptable or profitable? So this is cash flow for the two options. Okay, I need to find this, of course, for one unit of model A. Uh, for two units of model A. I'm going to buy two units of model A, so the total cost will be $300,000. And this is the operating cost for a uh, two units of model A. For one, one machine or one unit, it's 40,000 per but for two units, it's going to be 80,000. And this is my age analysis period. And the same goes for model B. For 80,000 is the cost of two machines and 45,000 is the operating cost of two machines and the salvage value is the salvage value of two machines okay and this diagram represents a the cash flow net cash flow for both models this is for model A and this is for model B so this is is excluded from the analysis I don't need this the present value for project A at 15% is minus 300,000 minus 80, calculate B given A. This is annuity for two years, okay? And also, I need to add the salvage value, 90,000, calculate B given F. The answer is minus $362,000. For model B, this is B. It's going to be minus $364,000. So, the most profitable option is, that is option A because it has a, the lowest cost. Those are investment projects. And for investment projects, we choose the one with a, the lowest cost. So project A has the lowest cost. So project A is a, the most profitable. Okay. The next case is that the analysis period is longer than the project life. I have project that, for example, extends for 10 years. But all of the options I'm considering have a service life or a service period less than 10 years. So what to do in this case, I need to come up with a replacement plan, okay? So that each alternative will cover each the analysis period. Then I could calculate the present worth and choose the project with the highest present worth or lowest cost of its investment project. Example 511. There is a company, Smith Novelty Company. Okay, they are mail order firm. Tamam. Wants to install an automatic mailing system. بدهم ركبوا automatic mailing system. هاد بضيفته إنه يفصل ال يعمل sorting للبريد. البريد الورقي طبعا. اللي يفصل لك البريد العادي عن الإعلانات وإلى آخره. Okay. Now the firm has choice between two different types of machines. عندهم آلتين لإيش لفرز البريد، okay. they are designed differently but إيش they do the exact same job بيعملوا الشغل نفسه تصميم تبعهم مختلف لكنهم إيش بيأدوا نفس الوظيفة. now model A is semi automatic model A شبه أوتوماتيكي، okay. and it will last for three years and it will cost twelve thousand five hundred dollars. the other model the other model model B is fully automated model. It costs more, fifteen thousand dollars, 
but it lasts ايش for 4 years عمره 4 سنين موديل A تكلفته 12500 عمره 3 سنين موديل B تكلفته 15000 لكن عمره ايش 4 سنين اطول which model should the firm select at MAR uh, MARR of 15% and remember that the analysis period is 5 years as you can see neither model A or model B is capable of covering the complete analysis period هم بدهم المشروع تبعهم او بدهم ماشين بتغطي عندهم فترة خمس سنين لانه متوقع خلال خمس سنين هاي الطلبية الحجم البريد عندهم يزيد خلال خمس سنوات فايش بدهم يغطوا هالخمس سنين لكن لا موديل A or model B is capable of covering ايش the five years so what to do we need ايش to come up with uh, خلينا نحكي some way that model A will cover the remaining two years and model B will cover ايش the remaining one year so here is there is two years missing and here is one year missing okay and after I come up with with a plan to cover the remaining years for each option I calculate the present worth and this chart or this table uh, summarizes the cash flow for both projects and as you can see both projects are uh, investment projects so we are going to choose the project with uh, the lowest or the smallest cost the lowest cost okay since both models have shorter lives than the required service period of five years we need to make an explicit assumption of how the service requirements is to be met. What the company is going to do is that they are considering liaising an equipment comparable to Model A with annual payment of $6,000 after tax and with annual operating cost of $5,000. اللي راح راح إيش يستأجروا معدة equipment شبيها في Model A قيمة الاستئجار تبعتها حتكون ايش؟ 6000 بالسنة وتكاليف التشغيلية عليها حتكون ايش؟ 5000 دولار بالسنة. So the cash flow will become for model A and model B as follows. This is the original cash flow for model A and this is the original cash flow for ايش؟ model B. Now Liaising an equipment will cost them $6,000 per year, okay, and will cost them an extra $5,000 in operating and maintenance cost for two years for Model A. But for Model B, they will liaise an equipment for $6,000 and will cost them $5,000 in maintenance, operating and maintenance cost, but ish for one year. Now we can calculate the present worth for this cash flow and this cash flow. Present worth for cash flow A minus $12,500 minus $5,000 annuity. But this annuity is for two years. Okay. And I have at the third year. 2000 minus 5000 minus 3000 the net cash flow at the third year which is minus 3000 dollars okay calculate b given f 5% 15% and 3 years and i have 11000 dollars this is annuity i calculate its present value at n equal to 3 okay and find its present value at n equal 0 I then I multiply it by calculate be given a 15% and 3 years the answer is minus 3000 uh, minus 34000 dollars for model B the same I have minus 15000 dollars the investment and I have 4000 dollars which extends for 3 years annuity for 3 years calculate be given a 15% and 3 years and I have a N equal for a net of minus two thousand five hundred dollars, which is the one five thousand one thousand five hundred minus 
the four thousand dollars and i have eleven thousand dollars single payment at n equal five calculate b given f 15 years and 15 percent and five years and the answer is minus thirty one thousand dollars so the most profitable project is project b because it has a the lowest cost project b is the most profitable option now to the last case is that the analysis period coincides with longest project lives project life now calculate the in this case calculate the net present worth for each project over its analysis period okay assuming no cash flows after service life for the shorter lived project to explain it more let's consider the following example okay uh, family operated foothills ranching company frc okay foothills ranching company هاي شركة عائلية okay. عندهم قطعة أرض they have a piece of land they use it to grow grain and grazing cattle بزرعوا عليها الحبوب والقمح وبربوا عليها إيش الماشية okay. ومن من هالشغل تبعهم قاعدين بيعيشوا now recently oil was discovered in this property تم اكتشاف إيش البترول في now the family has decided to extract the oil, sell the land, and retire. After they found the oil in their land, they decided to stop the work of collecting the oil and collecting the oil, and they took the oil from this land. After they took the oil from this land, they sold it and they sold it. Everyone took a share and they sold it. Now they have two options. Okay, either they extract the oil. By themselves, or is let a specialized company extract the oil, and they will get a fixed amount from that company. The is option. The drill option. You know, the al khayrain, and they extract the petrol by themselves, تمام. وبيعوا الخيار الثاني إنهم إيش يجيبوا شركة متخصصة في استخراج البترول بحكونهم خدوا هاي الأرض إلكم تخرج البترول منها وعطونا إيش مبلغ معين. مقابل حقوق الاستخراج البترول من الأرض بعدنا. Now, drill option it will require three hundred thousand dollars in leasing expenses of the necessary equipment. لأن حتى يستخرج البترول بدهم معدات متخصصة. هم إيش راح يعملوا؟ راح يستأجروا المعد. ما راح يشتروها راح إيش يستأجروا المعدات هاي. راح تكلفهم إيش ثلاث مئة ألف up front. بغض النظر شو الفترة اللي بتكون تستخدموا فيها المعدات هاي تبعتنا. إحنا بنأجركم إياها بمبلغ ثلاث مئة ألف دولار ولازم تدفعوها إيش up front. But the net annual cash flow from taxes uh, after taxes from drilling operations will be six hundred thousand dollars at the end of each year for the next five years. راح يستأجر معدات تدفع ثمنها إيش ثلاثمائة ألف إيش في البداية. But لكن في كل سنة they will get six hundred thousand dollars net income إلهم for five years. The company can sell the land at the net at a net cash flow of one million dollars after five years. When the oil is depleted, بعد ما يخلص البترول من الأرضهم راح يبيعوا الأرض من مبلغ مقداره مليون دولار. Lease option if the company chooses to lease the land for a drilling company إنه مأجر أرضهم لشركة استخراج بترول, it can extract oil in three years. هاي الشركة will extract the oil in three years, okay? And the FRC can sell the land at a net flow of eight hundred thousand dollars at the end of the third year. The net cash flow from the lease payment of FRC will be Six hundred thirty thousand dollars paid at the beginning of each year for the next three years. هدول راح يأخذوا ست مية وثلاثين ألف في بداية كل سنة لمدة إيش ثلاث سنوات. Okay, this represents إيش the cash flow table and cash flow diagram for both options. For the drill option, they will be up pay up front three hundred thousand dollars. And they will generate six hundred thousand dollars for each five years. And at the end of the fifth year, they will sell the land for one million dollars. So at the fifth year, the cash flow will be one million six hundred thousand dollars. For the lease option, 
they will pay nothing, okay, but they will get $630,000 at the beginning of each year or at n equal, starting from n equal 0, n equal 1, and n equal 2. Those are three payments for three years. At the third year, they will get nothing. At the end of the third year, they will not getting, get anything from liaising, but they will get ash $800,000 from ash selling the land. And as you can see that the analysis period, the longest analysis period is five years. In this case, what we are going to do, or, or, or what we are going to do is that for the first option, we will calculate the present value over five years. Okay? For the second option, we will calculate the value, the present value for three years. Because after the oil is depleted, بعد ما نستخرج كل البترول, ما فيش عندي شغل. يعني استخرج البترول في سنة ولا في سنتين ولا في عشر سنين بس استخرج البترول كله خلاص ما في شغل ما في إشي أعمله تمام وبالإضافة لأن أنا كمان بعت الأرض so there is nothing to do after the oil is extracted for the second option we will calculate the present value over three years so the present value for the drilling option minus three hundred thousand dollars minus this is actually plus And the answer here is plus. For the drill, drilling option, minus $300,000 plus six hundred dollars annuity calculate B given A. And at N equal 5, $1,600,000 calculate B given F. The answer is $2,208,000 and 470 for the liaise option there is a type error also here there are no expenses only revenues so six hundred thirty thousand dollars plus this is the first six hundred thousand dollars okay Plus six hundred thirty thousand dollars. Uh, six hundred thirty thousand dollars. Calculate B given A for two years. It's annuity. I'm calculating its present value. And finally, eight hundred thousand dollars. Calculate B given F at fifteen percent and three years. The answer is two million one hundred eighty thousand dollars. So obviously, this is a revenue project. Since it's a revenue project. اللي حيعطيني اعلى ايش؟ ريفينيو هو ايش؟ ذا موست بروفيتابل او حيعطيني اعلى بريزنت فاليو بريزنت ويرت حيكون ايش؟ الاكثر مربحيه. ذا بروجكت وذ ذا هايست بريزنت ويرت از ايش؟ ذا موست بروفيتابل اوبشن. سو ذا دريلينج اوبشن از ايش؟ ذا موست بروفيتابل اوبشن. Now when the analysis period is not specified or very long. Okay. Now, when we compare between alternatives, we need to find the uh, least common multiple. Okay. Uh, then we calculate the present worth. Let's consider the mailing company example. Okay. In mailing company example, if you remember that we have two models, model A and B. Model A will serve for three years model b serves for four years model a cost one twelve thousand dollars twelve thousand five hundred dollars i think model b cost fifteen thousand dollars now let's assume that the analysis period is infinite the mailing company will need those one of the equipments for a a very 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 long time more than five years and it will be repeated so what the company is going to do is if they are going with option a if they are going with model a they will replace it ish with the same model so this is 
the first cycle for model A okay now since they are going to keep going infinitely they are going to a replace model A with the same model so they are going to buy a new equipment of model A and they will keep repeating this infinitely راح يظلهم يعيدوا هذا الكلام ايش بشكل ايش لا نهائي and the same thing with model B this is the first cycle of model B model B for four years at the end of the fourth year, they are going to buy the same machine, okay? At the end of the fourth year, they are going to repeat buying a model B for another four years. Now, we need a common time basis. Remember that from previous chapter that when comparing between alternatives, we need a common time basis. The life of project A is three years. The life of project B is four years. So I need to find the lowest common multiple of three and four. The lowest common multiple of three and four is 12. So my analysis period is going to be a 12 years. This is my analysis period. I need to find a the present worth for model A over 12 years and for model B for over a 12 years and I can compare between them. For model A for 12 years, there is no need to find the present value of model A actually over the 12 years. We need just to find the present value of model A for the first cycle or for one cycle because the cycle is the same. Okay, I need to find its present value for one cycle. The present value of Project A for one cycle is minus $12,500 minus $5,000 calculate be given A 15% for three years and $2,000 calculate be given F 15% and three years. Okay, the answer is minus $22,601. So this is the present value of project A just sketch make a sketch of the cash flow diagram zero three six nine and a twelve so for the first cycle the present value is going to be at n equal zero and it's going to be 22,601 okay now for the second cycle this is for the eighth, first cycle for the second cycle if I calculate its present value at n equal three it will be the same 22,601 this is the present value of the second cycle for the third cycle if I calculate its present value at n equals 6, it's going to be 22,601. This is the present worth of the third cycle. And for the fourth cycle, it's going to be at n equal 9, 22,601. So if you, if you see, this is the present worth of the first cycle, the second, third, and fourth. Now, for the complete 12 years, I can calculate present worth, take 22601 as a common factor and remember that I need now to discount this value for three years okay 22,000 I need to discount it a for three years to find its present value calculate B given a 12 and 3 years 12 uh, 15 percent and 3 years for the third cycle the present worth of the third cycle i need to discount it for six years calculate b given a 15 percent and six years and for the last one i need to discount it a for nine years calculate b given a 15 percent and nine years and for the first cycle 
it's one, the factor is one. So the answer is 53 minus 53,000 dollars. For the other model, model B, we are going to do the same. We want to cal we first calculate the present worth of the first cycle, this one. Of the first cycle, which is going to be minus 15,000, minus 4,000, BA, calculate B given A for 15% and 4 years, and finally, 1500 calculate B given F 15% and 4 years. The answer is minus $25,000. Now, be careful. If I'm going to compare based on the first cycle, it's not correct. The, uh, comparing the present value of the first cycle for each alternative is not correct. I need to calculate the present value over the analysis period and and compare it and compare the present value over the analysis period not for one cycle اذا انا بدي اقارن البريزنت فاليو فور وان سايكل هذا الكلام مش صحيح لازم احسب ايش البريزنت فاليو البريزنت ورث فور ايش ذا كومبليت اناليسيس بيريد اللي هي 12 سنه ما بصير اقارن ايش على البريزنت ورث لا ايش وان سايكل سو ناو اي ونت تو فايند ذا بريزنت ورث فور ذا كومبليت Analysis period, I take the $25,562 as a common factor, okay? And let me just sketch the cash flow diagram for the model B. I have 0, 4, 8, and a 12. The present value of the first cycle will be at n equal 0 25,562 this is for the first cycle for the second cycle it's, go it's going to be at n equal 4 and for the fourth cycle it's going to be at n equal 8 So for the first cycle, the factor is 1. For the second cycle, the factor is calculate B given a 15% and I want to discount it for 4 years. Cycle Thalta discounting it for 8 years. The answer is $48,534. Since this is uh, this is an investment project had مشروع استثمار استثمار مش revenue راح اختار ايش المشروع اللي يعطيني the lowest cost الاقل تكلفه and the lowest cost is of course project B or model B is the ايش the better choice or more possible choice تمام and by this we come to the end of this chapter هون نحن نكون وصلنا لنهاية هذا الشابتر ونعنهينا معكم هاي المحاضرة المسجلة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله